So I decided to smoke one of these because uh, I'm not really in the mood for a, a really good cigar. You know, you know I mean, I, I am, of course, but not really. You know, I right now, I, I don't know. I can't really completely pay attention to a cigar. So I'm going to have one of these. Indios Viejo, limited edition. These are from like 2003. I guess they just made a shit ton. And uh, they've kind of been warehousing them for a while. You can get them pretty cheap now. So, I've got them before, enjoyed them. So we'll try them now. A little bit tight draw. Very nice. Good cigar, especially for the money. I think it's about thirty five bucks or twenty. For that price, I don't think I've had a better cigar than this. I'm still rocking the Bentley for Men Intense. And uh, it's a little bit, it's nice. This is a good cigar, man. Real toasty, kind of toasty caramel kind of thing. It's not real complex or anything. And you can kind of, you know, it has a little bit of that kind of cheap cigar taste. But, but it's, it's got this sort of aged, you know, it's got that aged quality, which Sort of takes center stage with this cigar. Yeah, it's got sort of a cheap mixed filler type of thing going on. I'm not even sure if it is mixed filler though. It might be long filler. But uh, it's also got this aged tobacco quality. I think this is going to be a good one. <clears throat> I'm guessing the whole pack. I think they could use a little time in the humidor, maybe. A little tight. A little tight. So, you know, not the not the best construction. It's okay. I mean it looks good, but it's a little tight. But uh, the taste, as far as the taste, I don't think you're going to get a better taste 
for uh, the price. I mean, I've had the Quorums. It's another bundle cigar. And this kind of, this could be like a Quorum, but imagine that Quorum aged about 15 years or whatever, 2003 to now. Gosh. Well, like 17, 18 years. If these were, in fact, from what I read, they're they're made in 2003. I don't know. If you can get a 2003 cigar, I mean, assuming it's aged well, or you know, assuming aging is a good thing, I think you want a cigar from 2003, especially if you're getting 20 for 35. Maybe it's 38 plus tax. Yeah. Very mild. Very mild, but it's got this sort of, just a slight kind of twang to it. I think that's from the aging. I would love to just kind of put a hole through this. It's, uh, it's all, I mean, it's not so tight you can't smoke it. It's just a little tight though. You can tell it was packed a little too densely. It's got almost like a like a milky vanilla kind of flavor though. It's really nice. In fact, this would be good with uh, some coffee. Yeah, it's got this subtle, sweet kind of milky vanilla. It's just you can get a cigar that's been sitting around for a while. I like that. I mean, to me, that's really good. And you get that with this. Even though it's cheap, you really do get that. So, well, this cigar is obviously not going to smoke quick. But uh, I can tell you already, it's definitely worth the price. So, check it out. Indos Viejo.